Hello, welcome to Morris Money, where we give you stock tips in under five minutes. I'm your host, Morris Willie. Today, we're talking about Ralph Lauren's quarterly earnings and them raising their dividend. But before we get to that, let's talk about the fourth quarter. Ralph Lauren posted fiscal fourth quarter net income totaling $24.4 million or 34 cents per share after a loss of $74.1 million or $1.01 cent per share. Adjusted earnings per share was $0.49, cent, beating the consensus estimate of $0.36. Cent. Revenue was $1.523 billion, up from $1.287 billion, and also beat revenue estimates around $1.463 billion. Let's get into specific segments. Let's start with North America. In the fiscal fourth quarter, the segment's revenue advanced 19% from the year-ago quarter to $674 million. Comparable store sales for North America's retail channel improved 21%, including a 19% increase in brick-and-mortar stores and 27% growth in digital commerce. Revenue from the North American wholesale business grew 1% year-over-year. In Europe, the segment's revenue grew 26% year-over-year to $467 million, with a 34% improvement in currency-neutral revenues. Comps for the retail channel in Europe were up 77%, owing to a 145% increase in brick-and-mortar stores, which more than offsets the 2% decline in digital sales. Revenues for the segment wholesale business rose 5%, on a reported basis and a 12% at constant currency. Next, Asia. The segment's revenue increased 20% year-over-year to $346 million on a reported and 26% on a currency-neutral basis. Comps in Asia were up 12% backed by 10% growth in brick-and-mortar stores and a 46% increase in the digital business. Let's talk about company outlook. Management issued the first quarter and fiscal 2023 guidance based on the currency supply chain condition, inflationary pressures, the war in Ukraine, COVID-19 variants, and other COVID-related disruptions. It expects the ongoing uncertainty to continue, which might impact the market recovery. The company also takes into account the potential for a further resurgence of the coronavirus outbreak and the possibility of global supply chain disruptions. For fiscal 2023, Ralph Lauren anticipates revenue growth in the highest Single digits or 8% year over year on a CC basis on a 52 week comparable basis. This includes a 400 BPS negative impact of unfavorable currency. On a 53 week comparable basis, the metric is likely to be hurt by an unfavorable currency of 100 BPS. The operating margin is forecasted to be 14 to 14.5% at CC, which includes a negative impact of unfavorable currency of 130 BPS. This compares favorably with last year's reported operating margin of 13% on a 52-week comparable basis and a 13.4% on a 53-week basis. The gross margin is envisioned to expand 30 to 50 BPS at a CC on a 52-week comparable basis driven by solid AUR growth and positive product and channel mix which is expected to more than offset higher freight and production cost inflation. However, unfavorable currency is likely to hurt this metric by 110 BPS. Now, let's get to what everybody's been waiting for, an increase in the dividend. Ralph Lauren raises quarterly dividend by 9% to $0.75 per share payable on July 15th, and the dividend expiration is July 1st, 2022. So, If you're looking to get in Ralph Lauren and try to get some of that dividend, you still have plenty of time to amass a position or increase the position you already have. But let me know what you think about Ralph Lauren for this quarter. Let me know below. Please don't take this video as financial advice and thank you for watching Morris Money.